So a common complaint in a lot of my PC build videos and a lot of the build videos I see around YouTube is the fact that the operating system isn't usually included in the overall cost of the PC, which is a valid complaint. You need an operating system for the PC to work. Now in the past, myself and others have recommended using SteamOS or another Linux distribution as an alternative to Windows that costs absolutely nothing. But let's be real here, if the intended purpose of your system is gaming, then Windows is the best and really the only viable option if you're wanting to play all of the latest and greatest games. So you want Windows but have already spent all your money on hardware, so what do you do? Well that's where this video comes in. I'm Matt and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Windows 10 completely free, 100% legally, with only a few minor drawbacks which I'll talk about in a minute, so let's get right to it. So if you were to purchase a Windows key directly from Microsoft or from an established retailer like Newegg or Best Buy, it's going to cost you around $100, which if you're building a PC on the cheap can be a big hit to your budget. Another option is to buy a Windows key from a reseller like Kingwin, but the origin of keys from key resellers is not always known, and many times the keys you purchase from a site like that can be stolen or fraudulent, which is why a lot of people sway away from game and OS key resellers in general, but something a lot of people don't know but many are quickly figuring out is that Windows 10 can be run inactivated, no key needed indefinitely with only a few minor drawbacks. So what are these drawbacks? Well they all come in the form of personalization options. The first is that you can't change the theme slash color scheme of Windows 10 which is defaulted to black and gray which is fine with me. The second drawback is you can't change your background through the personalization settings but you can still right click an image file and select set as background. Finally, the biggest drawback of this method is you will have a small watermark in the bottom right hand of your screen that says Activate Windows. Now I've run Windows 10 unactivated many times and have never found any of these drawbacks really intrusive or a hindrance on my computing experience, but that's just me and it's up to you to decide if the price tag of $0 is worth the lack of personalization options. So how do you go about running Windows 10 unactivated for free? Just like with any OS install, you'll need a USB flash drive to hold the install files as well as a computer to to download and set up the USB flash drive. A 4GB flash drive should work, but I use an 8GB drive and have never had a problem. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in Windows 10 download. Select the first option from Microsoft.com titled Download Windows 10 Disk Image. On this page, click the button that says Download Now under Create Windows 10 Installation Media. Once this is downloaded, open up the newly downloaded file called MediaCreationTool.exe. Accept the terms, select Create Installation Media, and hit Next. Now you select your language, architecture, and edition. For me, it's English, Windows 10, and 64-bit, and hit Next. Then it asks you to select what media to use. Select USB flash drive and hit next. Select your USB flash drive from the list of drives and just a note, this process will delete anything that's on the flash drive, so make sure you back up or save any files on it you want to keep. Hit next and it will begin downloading Windows 10. Once the download is complete, it verifies the download and begins creating the Windows 10 media. Once this is done, if everything was installed correctly, it will tell you your USB flash drive is ready. Hit finish, eject the drive, and remove the USB drive from your PC. You now have a bootable Windows 10 installation drive you can use to install Windows 10 on any number of computers. Now that you have your USB installation drive, go ahead and plug it into your new PC. Boot the PC into BIOS, which usually is done by mashing one of the F keys, but because your PC doesn't have an OS on it, it should boot into BIOS automatically. Once into the BIOS, go ahead and look for a section in there called Boot Devices. Select to boot to the recently inserted flash drive. At this point, the PC should restart and it should boot into the Windows installation screen. Once here, it'll ask you for some language and location info, hit next, then click install now. The next screen that comes up will say activate Windows and it'll ask you for a key. At this point, just click the option that says I don't have a Windows key at the bottom. Now, you just complete the Windows install as normally by selecting your drive to install Windows 2, letting it install, and then creating your PC's profile. Once this is all done, you'll be in Windows ready to download and enjoy your games and programs. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. This was a very highly requested video, so I hope it will help a few of you guys out. Oh, and as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.